Do you know what causes deafness? But before we understand that, let's have a look into our ears and how does it function. The outer ear includes the penna, which collects sound waves and the ear canal, which transports sound waves to the eardrum, a paper-thin layer of tissue separating the outer and middle ear. Sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, which in turn vibrates three tiny bones inside the middle ear, called the malleus, incus and stapes which pass the sound vibrations along to the inner ear. The inner ear translates vibrations into electrical signals which are picked up by the auditory nerve sent to the brain and interpreted as sound. This complex process occurs instantly allowing us to hear the sounds around us as they happen. What are the different types of hearing loss? Basically, hearing loss is congenital and acquired. That they are born deaf, few are born deaf because of uh, genetic reasons, because of uh, infections, of the maternal infections, or they have a family history, or at the time of delivery, uh, the issues are there. And then they are acquired due to some infections or some accidents that they have a hearing loss. What are the medical treatments for hearing loss? For a cochlear implant, we need to have an auditory nerve. If the auditory nerve is not there, then cochlear implant is not successful. Then there is something called auditory brainstem implant. Whose results, like auditory brainstem implant does not have that promising results as cochlear implant has. But yes, there is an option. The difficult cases are due is acquired ones. If, if, a, if we have a person, a recipient who was listening since 7 or 8 years of age or until 12 or it required a, a hearing loss later in life, uh, so they have problems in adjustments because the sound that the natural hearing will be different from the hearing that we will be providing. So it takes time for them to adjust but they adjust. A boy named Chirag had a cochlear implant surgery a month back. Today when he visits his doctor, he is screaming at the top of his voice. Do you know why? Once he starts hearing, he will start speaking. Yeah, because he doesn't speak because he is not hearing properly. Okay, so the, the speaking part is not a disability by itself. It is because he is not hearing, so he doesn't know how to vocalize. Okay, so give him his hearing, he will start speaking. Okay, and the later you do it, the more um, uh, the speech will not be as good. That is the whole thing. Now you know why a deaf person's voice sounds crude when they try to speak. It's because they cannot hear themselves while speaking. Speech, therefore, is not the disability and hence the correct term for referring to them should always be the deaf and not deaf and mute or deaf and dumb. Why does India have such a large number of deaf people in its population? We have so many uh, deaf people in our country because uh, our population is so much. More importantly, when the child is born, we should screen such children and find out whether the child is suffering from hearing loss or not. So, this neonatal screening is there in certain private hospitals, but it's not on a mandatory basis like it is in European countries. All children get screened as soon as they are born. It is not done here. So, that needs to be done. Secondly, they need to be followed up and rehabilitated which means that they should be given hearing aid or a cochlear implant as soon as possible. Because the sooner we 
give them these hearing aids or cochlear implant the more normal their speech is going to be and the more normal mental development is going to be of that child